anyway. We are here at Stanford University with Justin Manasse, who's one of our Zimbabwean researchers doing big things at Stanford University. So let me interview him and ask him a few questions about his journey and how he came here. Hello, Justin. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. <laughs> Maybe you can give us a brief, brief background on how you came to Stanford, what you're doing here. Um, <laughs> my journey to Stanford started uh, almost uh, 10 years ago when I wanted to do uh, a master's in research after my undergraduates in medical life sciences in the University of Zimbabwe. Um, there is a professor, Professor Catherine Stein, who has been working in Zimbabwe for the past uh, 20 to 30 years and is interested in HIV research and capacity building. So I met him when I was in Zimbabwe and he uh, took me a nice ring to mentor me and train me to become uh, a podcast researcher in collaboration with other mentors in Zimbabwe uh, from the African Institute of Biomedical Science and Technology in the University of Zimbabwe. So, uh, through him and my mentor at Stanford, I did my master's. I uh, finished it in about two and a half years. Um, and then moved to South Africa for a PhD program in the University of Kosovo Natal. Uh, after that, uh, I then moved to Stanford to continue my research with Dr. Catherine Stein uh, as a postdoctoral research fellow. So, uh, my research has been focusing mostly on um, optimizing HIV treatment uh, in people that are HIV infected. Uh, trying to uh, understand how to better sequence the drugs by looking at the viruses, how the viruses changes, what given treatment, and what are the amounts of drug resistance circulating in Zimbabwe and Sub-Saharan Africa. And at the same time, also develop the technologies to do that. So I've developed a few technologies that are already on the market, and right now we are focusing on developing more point of care technologies that will be able to. Uh, enable doctors to make a decision much faster when they're seeing a patient. For example, a patient can come in today uh, and then the doctor can test them the discover that the patient is HIV positive. They want to know how much virus is in their body. So one of the tests that are developing is a test that can be able to quantify the virus in 30 minutes. And then after that we need to know uh, if the viruses will be susceptible to the drugs that we are going to be giving the patients. So now that test are developing is a point of care drug resistance test. So within an hour, uh, after seeing the patient, the doctor will know the patient is HIV positive, they will know the amount of virus circulating, and they will know which drugs to use. So that's what I've been doing mostly at Stanford. Wow, that's interesting. So as you can see, we're moving with a group of young students from high schools. Maybe you can tell us about the qualifications that you also got and then what a person who wants to pursue the same field can actually study so that they can get into this kind of research. So for me, I um, did mathematics, biology and chemistry at A level. And then after that, uh, I went to the university and did medical and laboratory sciences. That was the path that I chose because medical science covers different aspects of pathology or disease processes and how to diagnose them. That was my interest. Initially, I was interested in immunogenetics, looking at um, what are the genetic factors that make some people more susceptible to HIV infection and while others are more protected. Uh, but in terms of the resources that were available, I couldn't do those studies in Zim, so I could only do uh, virology, now understanding the virus much better. Uh, however, as technology is advancing, we can now be able to do that work in Zimbabwe and hopefully uh, when I go back to Zim, I'll be able to pick some of those technologies and be able to work with Zimbabwe students and Zimbabwe mentors to try and build a much stronger research community in Zimbabwe. Okay. So what are your aspects when you come back to Zim? Are you going to get into some mentorship program to get some students on board so that they can also pursue research? Uh, definitely. Uh, right now I've been trying to recruit uh, a number of uh, master's students who they want to study at master's level try and uh, also pass on the training that I've been given uh, through my mentors here and in Zimbabwe. And hopefully we can also start working, on, uh, working with students that are still developing high school, even uh, college level students so that we can try to push more of the people that are graduating from all level towards STEM. Because we focus mostly on A-level students. They have already decided that they want to go to, to STEM. But they want to try and go slightly lower than that, even form to try and encourage people to love 
sites. Alright, so maybe you can give us a last few words uh, to Zimbabwe and you know, just a parting shot. What are your words to Zimbabwe back home? Um, Zimbabwe has a lot of resources in terms of uh, intellectual resources, uh, brain power uh, in the country and globally. Let's try to leverage on all the minds that Zimbabwe has produced to develop the certain technology industry in Zim. And that will definitely be uh, a cornerstone for rebuilding our economy. Thank you so much, Justin Manasse. Thank you. All right, so join us again tomorrow. You can catch us on our Twitter handle at STEM263, live on Facebook and Twitter. And you can also follow us on Periscope. That's it, folks.